Hi, this is Richard with Richard Runs Trails. Um, got a um, technical review today. We're going to talk about sunscreen. Um, got I'm reviewing a um, product from the company Boo. That's like B U with the, the two dots above the U. I forgot what that's called, but kind of a Nordic spelling. The company's based in California. I um, picked up. Uh, this this bottle of the sunscreen at the TRE show in Austin and uh, last December uh, that's the running show highly recommend going to that show if you have a chance it's every Aust every December in Austin and um, typically when I I need a I wear a lot of sunblock so I live in Texas I'm running in the high temperatures and I'm racing in high temperatures and um, I know a lot about sunscreen I I've tried a lot of different products and I can give you some pointers on what products to buy, which ones don't to buy. And uh, we'll, we're gonna review this guy today. Um, very interested in this product, why? Because of the size. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Um, typically, I'm wearing, um, I'm always wearing sport versions. I've got one here that's, that's packaged by HEB, which is a, um, um, a, a food food store chain in the south, mainly in Texas. It's similar to Safeway and Target and that sort of thing. Um, this product works good. Um, Banana Boat. I usually just buy which ones are on sale because I'm, yeah, I'm I may go through one to one to two one to two cans in a week sometimes, depending on how much I'm running. Um, it's very important to get the ones that say Sport and why because um, it's made for sports. And that's important because when you're spraying around your face, and sometimes I'll spray on my head because I don't want to wear a hat, because one of the challenges we have in Texas, it's the wind can be you know, 12 to 15 meters per second. Um, sometimes the wind is so strong that it'll blow your hat off. So I'll spray my head with uh, sunblock. I always use the aerosol. And uh, the reason for we're using the sport versions of the sunblock is it's not going to burn your eyes or it won't burn your eyes that much. If you don't use a sport version and you spray like your forehead or something or you touch something with your fingers and it gets in your eyes, it's going to burn really bad. The sport version doesn't burn at all unless you really don't apply it correctly. Um, I never have a problem with it because I spray my head and I sweat a lot during my run. And uh, so anyways, you want to buy the sport version anytime you buy sunblock and buy the spray. If you're buying the liquid, you have to apply it with your hand. You're getting it all over your hands and uh, it just doesn't work well. Um, highly recommend only buy the aerosol and always buy these smaller cans. Um, there are usually two different sizes of aerosol cans. There's usually one that's a little bit bigger, diameter is a little bit bigger. You might save a dollar. But the problem is, or the challenge is, a lot of times the sprayers, sometimes the sprayers will break. And sometimes they just don't work. And uh, I found that it, on the bigger bottles, I had one time had one, you know, they can cost like $11 for a bigger bottle. Um, these are usually around six dollars on sale, the, no matter what the brand is. Like I had a coupon for this one, so it's about six dollars. Banana Bro Boat is a high-end brand, but um, I can get it on sale, and it costs the same as the generic one. Um, but the big bottles, if your sprayer goes out, you gotta throw it away. You you can't do anything; it can't be fixed. I've tried to fix them before, and I found that some brands of sprayers are better than others. Um, I've had real good luck with um, the HEB, the Target brand, and some other generics. Um, but Walmart brand, don't buy it. The sprayers have a big problem. Um, they're the generic Walmart one. I've had problems with several times, and I've lost one big bottle. Learned my lesson. I don't buy the big bottles anymore. So that's my that's my advice on on the the generic sunblock. And um, but what, what we're talking about today is this, this Boo sunscreen. This is a not an aerosol, it's a spray, 
and the particular one I've got is 30 millimeter, uh, 30 milliliters, and it's um, it's got a, it's got a scent to it, so it's supposed to smell good. But the reason I'm so interested in this is the size, because I'll show you. I've got three different hydration vests that I've worn. I wear. Um, this one here, I don't use hydration vests unless I'm racing. Um, and it has to be 100K or longer. Um, the reason is because I found that using bottles during the day is better for me. And I use hydration vests at night um, during the nighttime hours. Um, but that's when this will come into effect. Because if you're in a long race, of course you're going to apply the sunblock before the race starts. So you're good for the daytime hours. But what if you running through the night and you need to apply sunblock again in the morning? Well, you need to have, you need to have the sunblock. The nice thing about this is it will fit in so many pockets on your vest. You know, it doesn't matter if you're using Nathan. This is Ultra Spire. I like Ultra Spire a lot. I used to, I used to be on their team, on their, uh, um, ambassador team, you can put it in here, you can put it down here, you can put so many different places. But a big bottle, you can't do that. And you definitely don't want to put a big bottle in the back because that's going to rub your back. You don't want that. Because, you know, one of the big things about ultra running is chafing. You don't want something that's going to be pressing on your back or in a, in a position that's going to, going to rub you because if, if you do that, you're going to get chafed. Um, this is Ultra Aspire. Ultimate Direction, also make very good vests. Um, this fits in all the pockets on the front, it's great. Um, so it would be very, very convenient. Um, this one, like I said, it um, it's um, not an aerosol, it's a spray. And uh, I'm gonna test it today. When I test it, I'm gonna spray it on one arm and then I'm and then I'm gonna go running, and then I'm gonna spray my other arm with my the one I use all the time, and I can I can check because I'll be sweating a lot. It's it's already 85 degrees, so by the time I go running, it might be 90 degrees, which is you know I guess about 30 degrees Celsius. So I'll be able to see how it beads up the sweat on my on my arms and just the general feeling. Cause I wear sun I wear sunblock so much that I got a good idea of which, you know, how the product should work. Um, I, this company is a new company. They're based out of, I think, Malibu, California. I checked their website today. It's still not working right. Um, it keeps, it asks you for an email address for a newsletter, but it, I couldn't pull up the country. The, they have um, tabs for the history of the company and stuff. All that's not working. So I'm not sure of this, the situation with the company right now. But I did see one article that said that they're going to be selling this for $10. I think if they're going to sell this for $10, it's a no-go. It's not going to work. Um, something like this should cost about 4 or $5. Unless they sell a bigger bottle where you can ref re refill your own small bottle. The small bottle, you know, I'm not so interested in the quality of the, of the sunscreen as long as it's comparable to the others. But if, it, if you can spray this on in a, in a light mist and it works like uh, this, my standard ones, I'm happy with it. But this bottle is such a game changer and I'll tell you why. <coughs> I showed you how it fits in the packs. <coughs> when you're running in a long ultra, I'll give you an example. One time I did 100K uh, here in Texas. Um, the race started at 6 p.m. at night well i get up at 5 a.m every day and i had to work all day and then i ran the race at six um i ran i sprayed myself with my normal sunscreen so i was good you know i had a few hours of daylight and it was very hot so i needed it and um ran through the night of course i sweat a lot i probably had some sunscreen still on me when it, i got into the daylight hours but I wasn't going to finish that race until probably midday. And the race was two laps. Each lap was around um, 30 miles, you know, so 62 miles. You know, so it's about 50K each lap. 
Well, I had my sunscreen in my drop bag. So when I came through and uh, got some things from my drop bag, um, I forgot to spray myself with sunscreen. <laughs> so, you know, I've been up all day, you know, tired and forgot. It's one of the, another, another reason I've always talked about I don't agree with people having pacers or crews because I think it's cheating. I think it's not fair for the runners who um, compete on their own like myself because you, then you have people reminding you of everything you need to do. Well, anyways, I forgot to put on sunblock. If I had this guy in my pack, it would be no problem. So I think this is very convenient for that. And uh, yeah, so, you know, convenient, but it's gotta be the right cost and it's gotta work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out today. Um, in that race I was telling you about, I got very lucky. There was a lady at an aid station that was very nice and she had some sunblock at the aid station. She let me borrow some. But when you're running in um, the South, especially in Texas, Alabama, Georgia, if you don't have sunblock, you can really be in bad shape because you're gonna get burned really bad. Especially if you're in this, um, on a race course that doesn't have a lot of trees. So, so interested to test this out. So I'm gonna take it on a run today. I'm not gonna take the bottle with me, but I'm gonna spray one arm and then spray one arm with my normal sunscreen. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, I'm just back from a 10K run and I was checking out the, uh, the Boo uh, sunscreen. And when it, it's interesting, it's, it's supposed to be a mist. When I sprayed it on, it was kind of like a fine powder, almost like a deodorant. But you can see here on, on my arm here, uh, the sweat. I just got back from run, so there's a lot of sweat uh, beaded up on my arm. Um, when I um, when I sprayed it on, it was like almost like an acrylic paint. It was like really shiny and much uh, shinier than my normal suntan lotion. You can see on this arm, it's more uh, matte finish <laughs> and not so much sweat beating up. So I'm not sure about the breathability, if it's less breathable than the one I'm using now, but to be honest, I can't really tell much difference. So um, other than the very economical bottle carrying it in my vest on uh, ultra races which is what i'm going to do i'm not going to use it unless i'm racing i'm going to take it with me in case for an emergency other times i'm just going to use my regular sunscreen but check them out um, hopefully they get their website working soon and come down on price but it might be worth checking out at least uh, buy a bottle for your your vest for your endurance running events okay bye for now